chat GPT. Okay. This right here, this tool is going to help you come up with ideas. Okay. This is one very cool, interesting tool. It's an AI tool. It's free too, as well. One thing I know a few people say, like when I try to sign in, it says that it's at capacity, try it two or three or four or five times. And then all of a sudden it'll, it'll let you in. Okay. But for the most part, we're going to use this to help you come up with ideas for different niches. And I've been testing this out and just coming up with different, you know, different ideas. And it, it, it's, it's, it's really cool. So for example, top, top 10 holidays, holidays, top 10 holidays in the world. Okay. Let's see what happens. It says Christmas, Easter, New Year's day. Okay. It's coming up with a few different ones. Hanukkah. Okay. China. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's say, so for example, Easter is coming up, right? This is something that's coming up. And now you think of when you're thinking of like Easter, like you can literally just come in here. What do people do? for Easter. So you're talking to it to give you ideas so you can learn more about the niche, right? This is really interesting because this is pretty good. This is one way to dive in deep to a niche and, and you're just asking it questions. Attend church services, decorate eggs. Interesting. Okay. Decorate, participate in Easter egg hunts. Now, what I would literally do is like, okay, now we have the ideas over here. And now remember, keep in mind, so with Amazon Merch On Demand, you're creating designs for products that you're going to sell on amazon.com, right? So decorated eggs, participate Easter egg hunts, right? So this is Easter egg hunts, attend church services, decorate eggs, chocolate Easter eggs, meals of family, friends, celebrate restaurant, Jesus Christ. Okay. So let's say Easter egg hunts. So we're going to take this. I'm gonna, right, so let's take that Easter egg hunts and type it into the search bar. Let's say we're going to be designing for a t-shirt. So I'm going to put Easter egg hunts and I'm going to put shirts. Okay. Now, as I do that, you're going to see, you know, the results that it's giving me Easter egg hunt shirt. You're going to see like different. And the idea is here to understand what the algorithm is pushing out to us by looking at different products and see what's selling. Right. And you can see Easter egg hunt, happy Easter. You see a bunny with some eggs and now we're getting ideas. So. What I would do is like literally just open up a notepad or if you have some type of Google doc or, or some air table type of air table, I have one down below that I offer. Um, and that's just a one-time fee of $10. And basically what this does, it's, it's it just, you know, it shows you how to use it and how to keep track of your month to month research and how I would use it. And me personally, you can just, you know, you create your own, create your own Google doc, you open up a notepad and start taking notes or seeing gnomes. Obviously we can't do Mickey Mouse unless we have the rights to it. We're seeing a bunny. We're seeing some Easter eggs, right? Some colored Easter eggs. And if you come over here, right, dec dec decorate Easter eggs, right? You're seeing that was something that was pushed out to us, like with chat GTP, GPT, okay? It was pushed out to us and that was, a, that was just an idea, right? And which is interesting because it's just, that's information for us to understand and learn and consume as a seller on Amazon. Right. Like, like these were, these are things that people like to do. So can we turn them into designs for products? Right. Which for example, we looked up an Amazon merch t-shirt and we're looking to design for a, a t-shirt. Right. So you're seeing a T-Rex. Okay. Egg hunt squad. Okay. Now look at, this is really cool because it's like, okay. Egg hunt squad. Okay. Now I got a few ideas already. Let's go down just a tiny bit more. Happy Easter. But did you die? Okay, let's go down to more. I'm the grandma bunny. Got some East, um, bunny ears, glasses, some bunny feet, and some eggs. We're seeing a lot of egg designs, right? The egg hunt bunny. Okay. The egg hunt is on. There's a bunny with a ba bunny. So Easter egg basket with eggs in it, right? Mm, interesting. Now we're getting somewhere. Seen a, was it a, a beagle? Okay, beagle with bunny ears, which is really cool. All right. Now we're getting the point. Okay, hippie. <laughs> that's, that's really cool. So now... With that too, as well, you can, you can see the way that I did it, the freeway right here too. Okay. It's a very simple, very easy. Now let's take those keywords. There's another way. Let me show you one more way before we go hop into mid journey and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Now I have merchant farmer, I log into merchant farmer. And this is one way that I would use this. This is a paid tool too, as well. Let's come over here to products. All right. And let's do a merch hunter. We're going to hit those, put those keywords in there, put Easter egg hunts. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and hit search. Now, this is basically going to filter everything on Amazon for us and bring it over here and bring it over here in that nice, like filtered, you know, we don't have to worry about all the clutter and stuff like that. Easter, you're coming down here, egg, you're showing us like different eggs, 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 don't care. This is funny. This is all inspiration too, by the way, right? This is cool. Hang in. I'm soy. I'm soy into you. <laughs> Rice bowl. These are all ideas too, by the way. So 
this is one way, okay? It doesn't have to be Easter. Just kind of just clarify this real fast. It doesn't have to be Easter, right? It can be just the egg niche. It can be, you know, Easter niche. It can be any type of niche or whatever it is that you think would be good to jump into or you've come up with your own idea. East, happy Easter, okay? Anything you can see, like, for example, like this is just a, a general bunny with sunglasses, right? Okay? This is something that's evergreen that can be sold all year round. Very simple, nothing too crazy, right? You know what I'm saying? So we come down here, we have some gnomes Easter, okay? And it's giving us like the BSRs and telling us that there's a demand for certain things right here, okay? Let's go down. Easter bunny, this is cool. Now, all right, we get the point. So just, and, and the keywords too, looking at the keywords and, and you know how it's, the keywords are important because I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to use this, but just keeping notes, using a notepad, bringing up a notepad, just keeping notes and, and, and coming up with different ideas is very important because it's, it's, it's simple that we can do, right? So, so far we came up with, right? You say Easter, honey. okay, Easter eggs. And the key main keyword that we use was Easter egg hunts, right? Hunts. Easter basket with eggs. Cool bunny with glasses on see and you see what i'm doing right here because these are like all keywords right and but also at the end of the day they're they're like describing like what i've seen on these platforms okay let's go down a little bit more see what we find it. leopard bandana oh easter bunny gaming heads up easter bunny playing video games easter bunny playing video games with headset on easter eggs around him easter eggs oh. Easter eggs around the bunny. Yeah. Okay. Happy Easter with the gnome holding an Easter egg. Easter egg, right? That's another one. Gnome holding an Easter egg. Egg. Uh, bunny. Right. Okay. All right. We got the point now. Now we got some good ideas over here. We can't. We kind of. You know. We came up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different ideas so far. All right within a certain amount of time, right? Pretty fast, pretty easy. You get the idea. As you get, to, as you start to get going, you're just going to get easier and easier and easier. And you're just going to go, sh boom, streamline through this. So now, now I'm over here I'm over at midjourney.com. Just kind of show you like the basic plan, right? $10, I'm at the $10 a month right now. There's the $30 a month. There's the $60 a month. And I just wanted to test this out and see how it works. I've been testing it out. Just, it's coming up with different ideas, which is really cool. I like how it just shoots out different inspiration. Now, one thing I wanted to touch on with this, Right here, it's very important that, you know, you got to be careful. You have to, you want to check, you know, you want to check for different, you want to check, you know, different platforms are going to have different rules. I talked about Ch Jasper art, right? AI. Okay. You know, you have to make sure that it's free for commercial use. And that's one of the most important things that you want to check on. So you want every single platform is going to be different. So I'm not going to touch on this in this video because they're updating it. And as it goes along, they're making different rules. So it's your job as a seller to understand that you have to learn about this. Okay. Me personally, I do have artists on my team that I've been outsourcing since the very beginning, since I very first, very start, very, the very first day of me starting print on demand, I learned about a lot of this, right? And this is one of the things that I wanted to learn about. And I use this to help my design team, my artists come up with different inspiration for different niches. Okay. So if we're going to design for Easter, for example, I'll show them these images and see what we can come up with. I haven't fully leveraged this to make designs because I'm like, ah, okay, this is something that, you know, I feel like it's there, but it's not there. And I don't want to, in a way, fully use this. And I see that people are fully using it. Personally, I see people on, you know, Amazon merch, they have the designs up, stuff like that. But it's just really cool to come up with different inspiration for your business, right? And help you streamline this part of it. Okay. So let's go over here. So when, once you activate this, then this is another thing too, as well. You come over here, you're going to get logged. It's going to bring you over here into Discord, okay? And when it brings you over here into Discord, it's going to, you know, there's different threads on the left-hand side, okay? This is something um, that you know, obviously, you're going to have to learn. But what when I come over here to uh, General, okay, this is cool because this is research ideas to in itself. These are other people that are using this to come up with, you know, their own designs, you can see, right? These are own designs. You know, the, the AI image is creating designs over here. Look at, look how crazy this is. Okay. And this is all AI, AI images. These are all done. Okay. With AI, with mid journey, right? Crazy. So this right here, this alone right here, this can give you inspiration. You can see how people are using it. Okay. Learn how people are going to be putting in the keywords to create this type of design. Like, look at this. This is crazy, right? Amazing. Cool. Freaking clean. Look at, all right. You can see how they're using the keywords for this example. These are different prompts, right? Different how you're talking to it. You got to learn how to talk to the AI to perform, like perform the way that you want it to perform. Empty American apartment, 1970s, New York. Look at this. How crazy that is, right? 
It's amazing. So as I come down here, I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna hit this little slash button. You can see it down below, okay? Hit that little slash button, it says, imagine. So I'm gonna hit that, that prompt. Okay, now we have our little notes over here. I'm gonna pull this up. Let's test out Easter basket with eggs in them, okay? Easter, let me just, you know what? Let me just, let me just copy that. So we just Easter and make it easier, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And then in them, I'm gonna put cartoon. Okay, you can use different ones in here as you learn to, you know, talk to it. You can put like detailed cartoon, 4K, HD. You can see people what people are using in here. Let me come up a little bit. 4K, HDR, photorealistic, simple men laughing audience. You can see what they did and it created, you know, see what it created, right? Okay, so I'm going to use cartoon and I'm going to hit enter. And I'll keep in mind too, at the end of the day, this is all about testing and understanding what you need to do to create a really good image that you can personally use. Everyone's going to be different when it comes to this, right? And it see that it, it's it put it in there. So make sure that you see the exact process that I did. Make sure you do that because if you don't, if you just put something in there and press enter, it's going to not do nothing. So it's important that you understand that. Come up a little bit. You can see right here, it's creating the image for us. You can see it's almost done. 93% fast. All right. That is cool. Okay. So it created it, right? Now these are little buttons down here, upscale one. So this is image one, upscale two, image two, three, four. Okay. And then the variation one, two, or if I want to create all different variation, I can hit this and it'll just refresh the whole thing. But so if I click on this, this is cool. Okay. Let's say I like this one, number three. Okay. I'm going to hit up upscale number three. And this basically is going to like upscale the image. Okay. Which is really, really awesome because then you can use this image, right? And any way that or form that you want to use it. Okay. But obviously you have to understand the rules. Okay. Every single platform is going to be different. Like I said, you want to go look at their policy. And if you feel comfortable creating, using this image, and let's say like on your print on demand or Amazon merch or KDP or whatever it is, that's up to you. And that's how you want to use it. It's up to you. Okay. I'm not going to tell you how to use your image or, or, or the way that you should do it. But me personally, when it comes to this type of stuff, I will show it to my artist and like, Hey, check this out. Look at this. What can we do here? Oh, I got an idea. Okay. Boom. This is what I'm going to create. So let's say I like number three, upscale, okay? That right there is gonna go ahead and upscale that. And let's say if I wanna just do a different variation, okay? Now, let's say I like number three, but I wanted to do a different variation of number three. So I'll hit that, okay? And then you can upscale every single image right here if you wanted to, to as well. Or if you wanna do a different variation, you can just hit this one right here and it'll, 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 it'll do that. So very one, two, three, or four, okay? Whatever you wanna do, it's all up to you. But you see exactly how I use these keywords right here, and that's what I created. Now, the same thing here too as well. If I come over here, let's say, and it notified me. Let's say, let's let's just let's try this one, okay? Let's try something long like this. Easter bunny playing video games with headset on, Easter eggs around the bunny, okay? Let's try something like that. But you can literally just start putting all these into the here and see what it put, puts out to you, right? And then you start keeping notes, putting, you know, information into your spreadsheet. You know, and then you come back to this later on. And it's like, okay, this is what I'm going to create. I'm doing research. I'm using research, you know, for my Amazon Merch on Demand account and, and doing research and coming up with different ideas for whatever it is, whatever, whatever you're doing with your business, right? It doesn't matter. Okay. So hit copy. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for this video. Boom. Hit that enter. And then I'm going to hit comma. You know what? I'm going to hit comma right there. I'm going to come again here. So that little dash comma. And then I'm going to put cartoon, by the way, cartoon. Okay. And hit enter again. And we're going to go ahead and create another prompt, another image. Okay. Send the command over and boom, there's some crazy ones in here. And when you upscale certain images, it does take a little bit of time to get it done, right? Okay. So here's the variations for that image. Check it out. You can see instead of the bows, they have some look at the, around the basket, what they did. And that's, you can see. The different Im images which is really cool and i'll save this image this is really cool how they're doing it and the different basket right and this is amazing <laughs> this is crazy right to even think about that and the eggs too i believe right so we're kind of playing like a game right here this is right this could be a really good example for a like spot the like the difference in the image right something like that that's a good idea right for like a book be a really good idea for a book boom, 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 boom. now now for the upscale it does take a little bit of time and what i like to do is look at my account but it'll upscale the image and you can see how it's all in here and it's kind of messy but you log into your account and it'll put all that information in the back end right and it will show you like okay here's this like, here's this image i can show you this image that's done for you the upscale and you can save it to the way that you, you know save it onto the file onto your pc and literally go from there now here's the upscaled image that i told it to upscale and you can see right here you can do make a variation light upscale redo beta upscale redo and wet and there it is right there right i can save that boom right click hit save 
boom, it's done. Now, if we come down, now I hit the bunny playing a video game with headset on Easter eggs around the bunny cartoon. You can see what it did. This is pretty cool because <laughs> using the AI, it just, it, it's like, you can see it still needs a little bit of work with certain ones and stuff like this, this is a perfect example, but you see the inspiration that you can get from here. Okay. This is a cool one. This is a cool one. I can see what they're doing right here with this one and kind of get an idea. But if you, you know, come over with this, this idea, you can create something based off of this, which is, looks really freaking cool. But it just, I think there's some, some work that needs to be done here. You can see the feet there. All right. It needs, it needs to be done a little bit more. If you upscale it, it will kind of fine tune a little bit, a little bit more and, and mess with it. And then if you come over here, look at this one is oh, what the heck? He's the bunny looks like he's eating the monitor, right? So something needs to be done here. There's some stuff going on here that needs to be done. It needs to be edited, but the idea the inspiration that you're getting from this, it, it's very, very powerful. Okay. And this can help you with your business, you know, and, and help you, let's say if you have artists on your team, or if you're an artist yourself, you can see how this is done. Okay. So learning how to talk to it and, and, and perfecting this, you can come up with some really awesome design ideas. Okay. Which is powerful for your business because that's one way to get a head start or, 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 or get ahead of your competition and grow your business to that level. Okay. So this is something that I wanted to share more with you guys on my channel as you know, technology starts to get, you know, to that level of, you know, technology is already amazing right now, but as it starts to grow even more and more and more, you can see how powerful this is, right? Amazing.